we rolling? Are we killing it? Welcome to our new set. It's really great to have you here. Hey, it's <laughs> great is, to be here. This is our live studio audience. Cool. <laughs> Okay, I don't even know where to start because you've been on the show for like so long. Yeah. What season did you start? 12? 11? I mean, I was on 11 for like a block. Like I maybe filmed a week when I was 14. Then I. That's nuts. I know. And then I came back on season 12. It was like my really my first season. I've been here five years. You've been here five years. Yeah, but <clears throat> I watched it not too long ago. And you can tell like that was my real like puberty stage from yeah. 14 to 15. Because that summer that I filmed and then it cuts to like the new season when I was 15, I looked so different. Well, not so different, but my voice is lower. My voice is so high when I was 14. I turned 15, my voice like dropped. I don't know, I can't picture you changing a lot, but maybe that's because I don't really remember you in like 11. Mm -hmm. Like I see you like in 12, <sighs> like all over the place. Disgusting. Dude, you don't even know, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. See this building? Like my face is all over the place in the scary Yeah, it is. The scary thing, it's like it's good and it's scary. It's good because it's like, oh, it's nice to have a, a virtual yearbook, you know? And then it's also terrifying because it's like everyone else is seeing it too. And you're just like, but yeah. you know what? I've stuck by them all. Everyone still, even in this building, rips on the hairstyles I had, rips on the outfits that I wear. I've got a couple <laughs> laughs happening over here, but you know, absolutely no regrets, okay? I'm sticking no to regrets. it. I did cornrows and I'm standing by it. What will you look back on the most as the thing that you're like, oh, I'm gonna miss that the most. That was like my fave. Oh my God, I don't know. Um, I don't know, I mean, it's weird because it's like the whole thing happened at the same time my whole high school career happened. So it was kind of nice to never have to go to school. <laughs> and now it's like I'm gonna graduate high school and I'm graduating Degrassi at the same time. Yeah. I feel like there will be a time like in a few years where I'll look back and be like, oh, like all those memories. Yeah. But right now I'm so immersed in it that I'm like, totally. I'm ready sort of to yeah. move on. And so I'm not feeling that like sadness or that like. Nostalgia. Nostalgia that I might feel in yeah. a few years or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, right do now you, I'm just very ready. Yeah, do you feel like this is a good time to like. Yeah, I feel. Do you feel like it, you're feel like you have closure, it's completed? Yeah, in a positive way. I feel like it, it's completed. It's, and I'm, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. And, ready to move on. Move on. But I definitely like the older cast at the beginning was really what I, the people I was closest to. I like think Chloe. like Chloe, like playing my sister um, and then Mindy was really good friends with Lyle and so I mm. started to become really close with Mindy and hung out with Luke a lot and I'm still really close with Mindy and Alex and Lyle. So yeah, just I mean, they're like all my best friends and I met them all. Here, so just the friendships I guess. How was um, Chloe coming back where you like girl? Yeah it was really cool. It's just falling like old right time. Yeah it was like it, falling yeah. back into it the yeah. way because we always had a you know it was all the scenes with us before were just me and her mm -hmm. and it was the same way so. And the crazy thing is like you have seriously <clears throat> dramatic scenes with Chloe. Like, yeah all always. All of a sudden it's just like boom. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Maya's journey in these last couple seasons. I think like it's a mix of obviously probably a pre-existing thing maybe that could have already been inside her also all the stuff that happened to her in every season of Degrassi I mean her boyfriend kills himself and yeah. I guess freaks out about miles yeah I mean or something yeah you can tell she already has like anxiety mm -hmm. and anxiety is one of the big things with depression so yeah I think it was just uh, nature and nurture <laughs> I think both of them just how did you feel about playing that arc where you just like, oh, Maya, cheer up. I want to do something no, fun. Or did no. you like that as a challenge? I was, I loved, I mean, I loved it. I find I'm more drawn to darker roles or the darker essences of characters anyways. Like I just find it easier to slip into that. Here's my question with that. Like I think a suicide scene is one of those things because like we had talked about before and like the last time we like hung out was, you know, it takes going in, like when you go into a character, it takes a while to kind of get out. Mm -hmm. of it because like yeah. especially in something that's as insane as what was happening to my this year <clears throat> what was it like on that rooftop the crew's all in front of you and you're like hold on a sec guys i just need to like go into the darkest part of a human soul yeah well i mean with that scene it was mostly the one part i wasn't even thinking about that because i was just 
I was like kind of scared because it was nighttime and I was like harnessed and I had to they wanted me to actually like lean over the edge of the roof and it was really hot and that's so, kind of terrifying no it was terrifying I was like I was think I was playing it really well but I was like inside I was actually like I never thought I was afraid of heights before but like this is scary mm. and then on the rooftop at least all I had to do was sort of be like foaming at the mouth and have my eyes like open and so and they were like and you can't breathe like at one point they were like we can see you breathing so stop breathing is this when you're like found Mine yeah found. <laughs> and I was act- I don't know it was really surreal to be playing that I always felt like very immersed in it but uh they like cut the scene like halfway through I didn't even get through the whole scene and they were like I was like why and they're like it's just too it's too dark it's too much and it's time. really yeah I was mad here's the one thing about the my storyline that like I gotta be honest I don't know if I understood this like recreation of death yeah like as performance like I thought it was very cool I thought it was cool I felt I wish I they had gone into it more I wish they delved into it a bit more it was very short-lived because she does a photo on the bus, and then she does a photo on the stairwell. Mm-hmm, and then she does one in the hospital bed, too. Oh, yeah, beside Tristan? Yeah. Like, that was real... It's pretty crazy, after. yeah. When I read that, I was like, what the... I guess I just wasn't sure if I understood, like, is this, like... I don't know, how did you make sense of her reason to do this? Uh, um... I'm trying to word it. Like, trying to see death in a, in a beautiful way, and mm-hmm. seeing it as a peaceful way, and instead of a... I mean, because what she sees is like, oh, I'm the one still here watching all this chaos and having to deal with it. Tristan's so lucky that he doesn't have to deal with it. He's out cold. Yeah. You know, that's how I... It was like taking care of for him yeah, in a way. Yeah, he's peaceful. Yeah. I really thought it was a cool way to look at, like, this depression that Maya was experiencing. Because depression's been so much of Degrassi. Mm-hmm. It's like, what other perspective can you take? Like, I didn't see that coming. Mm-hmm. I didn't even realize how much like I was so into it until now I have to be all happy and like well not happy but trying to get better and it's just so boring <laughs> to play that after you going said, from it was just such a whirlwind I don't want it to end yet I mean I'm happy my the character is okay and stuff but you know <laughs> yeah I just don't want it to end I'm like I don't know it's fun to play as an actress yeah yeah you were saying that as like I walked into I was like what are you shooting today it's like oh Maya's happy oh whatever. Maya's like figuring out her life <laughs> yeah. it's boring but I think my favorite, like, time acting and really, like, giving it was either with Lyle or um, there was a scene I did with Eric where we were running, like, low on time. And um, <clears throat> me and Eric sort of, Stefan said we could rehearse the scene on our own. It was a court scene when I find out that he had, he had been with some other girl while Zoe was unconscious or something or he had been with Zoe or... I don't even know why, but I remember I run out of the room and he grabs me and we're fighting and we were practicing it in the hallway and it was like, it just felt so real. And then um, we lot. went down to do it and Stefan <clears throat> was like, oh, it's it's too intense. Like, you guys need to tone it down or something. But it was just like, I'll always remember it because I just thought it was like the best. Did you feel like you related to Maya's relationship to music? Because I feel like Maya had like relationships to music that was like positive and like negative. Like it's like... Mm-hmm. It helped take like bring her out of like her depressive <clears throat> like feelings, or but at the same time it also sc- stirred a lot of. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's good. when Maya started singing on the show, I like liked singing, but I never really. Yeah, how did that come to be? It. Like, were you singing before Maya? Like, like I mean, I've always just sang. Knew? My my whole family is very musical. Like, we all know yeah. how to play instruments and sing together and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I've always sang all my life, but. Um, and I went to an art school, like, all my life, so a lot of music happening, but I never really thought about it as, like, anything more than just fun. So when I had to sing for Maya, I was like, oh, yeah, sure. So it was kind of weird when I started singing more on the show and then started singing more in real life with Lyle and doing that. Yeah, yeah. Is there a favorite of Maya's songs that you have? Um, hmm. I, I guess the... One. Okay, what's yours? Guess mine, but you say yours first. I guess, like... Um, maybe the black or white one is pretty. It's fun to sing. Is that the one that she sings for the record producer in New York? I think so, yeah. It's the one with Jonah. I like that one. Yeah, and Aaron has a really beautiful voice, so it's fun to sing with him. 
Like yeah, Aaron does music. I feel like the whole cast is musical. I know, and it's like we didn't really even think about it. Like We should have done like a musical episode now that it's too late, because my whole cast was not, well, I was a musical. Actually, most of us were musical. I used to want to do a musical episode. I used to always tell everyone I'd listen. I was like, oh, like Buffy, like once more three, yeah. like can we do a musical episode? That'd be so sick. Yeah. I think they've humored it throughout the years, yeah, actually. I, I heard like up. Stefan being like, we'll do a musical episode. Yeah, he... Like just I feel like fueled he's fueled so my hope yeah. for that to happen. Let's talk about Maya's next class mans. Okay. That's who I want to talk about. Like Zig. Yeah, that's it. Isn't Is it? it just Zig? Next class. Someone. You had me. on and off with just Zig. <clears throat> Wait, I think so. Yeah, that's it. Am I forgetting something? Did you do anything with Jonah? No. Did Maya do anything with Jonah? No, no. Zig thought I did, but I didn't. Da da. Um, okay, so you know what, Zig is enough of a man to fulfill our conversation here, but he, okay, so you guys start off all, like, real good. She, Maya takes Zig back, like, not take, you guys get, like, Maya and Zig get back together at the end of four. No, she doesn't take him back. She takes him back as sort of a, a friend for the prom, and I think, like, she knows there are feelings there, but it's not like it's anything's getting pushed, really. I think she, she likes him. She, I think she likes him, and I think he likes her, but and it's also just a very natural, easy thing to fall back into. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just like they're gonna, they're not gonna push for anything because they both know like there's a lot going on right now. But definitely, it's like it ends with a lingering of that's probably gonna happen. That's I think, what I took from it. I think Zig's got a hold on Maya. What's mm -hmm. the what's what's the Zig thing that everybody's just like? Oh, it's Zig. What? Oh, it's Zig. All the girls love Zig. And I like, know. Well, he's a pretty sexy man. Okay. Zig did, like, made out with Zoe on camera, right? Yeah. That's why so. you guys break up. Yeah. Because you're yeah, in New York he cheats with on me. Yeah. He cheats on you, and yet you're all, and Maya's all like, oh, thanks for helping me write a song. Yeah. Let's go to prom. Everyone What just... is it? What's the draw? With Zig, I think it's like true high school love, as much as it can be called true love. I think it is. That's probably just what it is. You know, they found each other. They're friends since grade nine. It's mm -hmm. like once you find that person, I think like no matter what, you can break up or whatever. But if there's a chance you can be together again, you're probably immediately going to go back to each other. And also everybody wants a prom date. Yeah, and I liked what happened. Like I liked how Maya asked Zig. Yeah, the I like that too. Right now, Maya asks Zig. He doesn't ask her. And very cool and yeah it just happens very casually and natural but I find prom is very much like very like friend oriented now it's not like a big deal at least in my high school and stuff that prom wasn't like a big like oh my god like is mm -hmm. he gonna ask me to prom like it mm -hmm. was very much like you know I just want to find like like that good guy to go to prom with and have a good time and see what happens and I so I like how mm -hmm. that's kind of what's happening with Maya and Zig it seems real and I like Maya bouncing back from all of this stuff. It's like she's on a mission. She's like writing this song. She wants to impress Greg Manning. And then she's just like, I need a day for my prom. I need a day for my prom. Yeah. Like she's on a mission. Uh, I want to have one question. Is there something hilarious that has happened on set that like goes down as like one of the funniest? Oh my gosh. The funniest oh, no, moments in Degrassi. Funniest moments in Degrassi. I feel like... They're inside jokes that's like we laugh at yeah. but no one would understand. Like, like I remember Ghana. Like, like Ghana, no one talks about Ghana. Ghana. Like the Af like you know how everyone went to like Nicaragua? Like we went to Ghana too. A year <laughs> oh, before. I thought you were talking about a character. No. I was like, who the hell is no, Ghana? No, like Ghana, like the free the children show. Oh, you went to Ghana? Yes, yeah, but no one knows about it because it's like this <laughs> She's weird. So mad. I know, no because one like talks about no, Ghana. Because Oh, yeah. No, like, I just Ghana? feel like Ghana is like that one for the children trip that no one talks about. Why are you guys still having one because that yeah, it's, funny? Because it's true. I don't, I've don't. i never heard Ghana no, brought up. No, right? It's like the one trip it, that no one talks about. Like barely anyone went on it. Is it fun? I mean, it, there's... So many people went on it. There were like 16 people. Okay, well, but everyone agrees, right, that it was like the trip that like no one talks about. But why? I don't know. It's just that Was weird... it boring? Did you have fun? Did yeah. you help the kids? Yeah, but it just weirds me out how it's that one trip that like no one brings it up. No one even knows I went I think on one of the trips. <laughs> it was the time where like me and Mindy met and got really close. Like we didn't leave our room for a whole night once because like there was a bug in the room and so we pulled like 
the sheets over us and just stayed there the whole night. That's a lovely bonding Calling out the window for someone to help us. Was there any camera, like, footage? Like, was was anyone following like, us, yes, you guys around? Yes, I think, and I don't know where it is. Like, did MTV, like, do a it special? It was, like, an annulled marriage. Like, no one <laughs> knows about Ghana. <laughs> it's so weird. But, yeah, a lot of, like, stuff happened on the trip. Like, we all, like... <laughs> We all like, thought it was haunted because, like, the lights went out once and, like, we were all playing cards and, like, one of the cards was missing and, like, it was this big thing. And it was, like, Sam and Jacob and Monroe were, like, hiding the cards in the end. It was, like, you wouldn't laugh at it, but it was so funny. So we have a game and it's called Prom Boiler Slap. So who you want to take to prom? Who you, out of, the, out oh. of all the characters of Degrassi, who do you want to take to prom? Who do you want to hook up with? In the boiler room. In the boiler room. And who you just want a teen girl movie biatch slap. Okay, cool. Give it to me. <clears throat> no. Oh, yes, the options. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> no. no. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Screw this like, game. Not... Thank you. Okay, no, you can't look at both of them. So, okay, the first round of Better. prom, boiler, and slap. Zig, My Miles, Jonah. Oh, like Jonah. they're people. Yeah. Here. And like, this is okay, you as, Miles as Olivia. take to prom. Jonah, boiler room. Um, and then Zig, slap. Slap, that's good. You know why you've made the right choice? Why? Miles, take to prom. He's got a nice car. He's going to get you nice things. Plus, he's going to make it exciting. Something's going to happen with True. Miles. Remember the first time Maya meets Miles, she gets stoned with him? I saw that the other day, and I was like, it actually brought back memories. Yeah. I think that was one of my favorite times of all the years. Really? Was that Paris time. I, I yeah. was like 16. I was just loving life. I think it was summer, and I was really close with all the cast at that point. It was just really nice. Round two, prom boiler slap. Tristan, Grace, Zoe. Prom boiler slap? Hmm. Um, okay, I feel like Grace to prom. That's nice. And now it gets hard. Like... Or do wow. I want to bring Tristan to prom? Wait, okay, this one's hard. Okay, so Grace I, is like best friend. Zoe's like friend of me, but Anna's pretty hot. And then Lyle's pretty hot, but he's sort of best friend too. That's really hard. It's two best friends and a friend of me. <clears throat> someone's got to go to prom. Someone you got to hook up with in the boiler room, and somebody you got to give a good old, good old flash and. I, I just had a seizure. A slap? A good old fashioned slap. I don't slap. know. I can't, I can't <laughs> I do like, this good one. Old, good old. Okay, I'm going to say Anna or Zoe. <laughs> Zoe, boiler room. Okay, hi. Tristan. Okay, like Grace, <laughs> did, Grace didn't do anything wrong, but she is kind of not on my side sometimes. So I'm going to say Grace slap and, and Tristan prom. You just I slapped just Grace. It. I can this slap. could be her last slap day Tristan. on earth. Yeah, well, Tristan's in like a coma, right? Yeah, I'm like slapping him out of it. Waking him up. Um, okay, do you have one for me? Um, Mr. Yates. Um, the girl who also Student his name teacher. was Mia, Maya, Nina Dobrev. What's her name? So Mr. Ga uh, Mr. Mr. Yates. Mr. Gates. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Yates, Maya. Or no, Mia. It was Mia, right? Yeah. And, <coughs> um, oh, and Manny. Manny Santos. Yeah, Manny. Oh, God. I mean, you picked all smoking hot people. I know, obviously. I mean, all I want all of them in the boiler room, but not sure there's enough room. Um, okay, I bring Mia to prom because she was just like a sweet, good girl, and I feel like we'd have a lovely evening, you know? And like, yeah. she's a lot of fun. I feel like we can go for like some, you know, Chinese food after. I was just going to say, yeah. Just like get a babysitter. Yeah, that's I was fine. Say that I got, oh, you know, I'm, I'm old now. A lot of my friends would be happy to babysit. Yeah, I think I'd... You gotta. Yeah, no, I think I'd bring Mr. Yates to the boiler room. <laughs> oh, I was gonna be like, you know you have to no, slap him. I'm gonna bring Mr. Yates to the boiler room. I'm old enough to be dating him, and maybe I'm a student teacher, he's a student there teacher. You go. Together, you know, we found love. That's, in a I never thought place. about that one. Yeah. And I would slap Manny, which would be she mean because she's a, a young a girl. <laughs> but it is Manny. Yeah, I would totally slap Manny. I think Manny needs to wake up. Um, I think we killed it. Killed it. Killed her. Killed her. Um, thanks for hanging out. I can't thanks believe this is the me. end of an era. It's the end. I'm very sad. And I feel don't sad. forget me. Never.
don't forget me. Uh, what's up with you?